The Serial Killer's Apprentice, the true story of how Houston's deadliest murderer turned a kid into a killing machine, by Catherine Ramsland, is a chilling true crime account focusing on a grisly partnership between two individuals connected by serial murder in the city of Houston. At the heart of the story is a dangerous serial killer known throughout the book as Houston's deadliest murderer. This individual, whose crimes had terrorized the local community, had not only taken multiple lives, but had also taken on an apprentice, a young person he molded into a killing machine. The book explores the twisted mentorship between the seasoned murderer and his young protege, delving into the psychological grooming and manipulation that turned an impressionable individual into a participant in heinous crimes. The senior serial killer, whose identity Ramsland reveals through a narrative that traces his criminal history, is shown to be a calculating and manipulative figure. He has a long history of violence and a track record of evading law enforcement. Through cunning and a deep understanding of human behavior, he has perfected his method of killing, avoiding capture, and disposing of his victims' bodies. His crimes are characterized by their brutality and a disturbing sense of ritual or signature, hallmarks that eventually form the basis of a psychological profile as investigators close in on his identity. Into this already dark narrative enters the young apprentice, a naive and vulnerable individual whose descent into violence is both a product of his interactions with the senior murderer and a testimony to the insidious nature of criminal influence and indoctrination. Ramsland paints a vivid portrait of the young man's background, one often marked by instability, neglect, or other forms of trauma, which may have made him particularly susceptible to the older killer's influence. The grooming process is central to the narrative, as Ramsland traces the steps by which the mentor killer introduces his apprentice to the world of murder. Initially, this takes the form of small transgressions, encouraging the breaking of minor laws or engaging in acts of violence against animals or property to desensitize the protege to violence and criminality. As the young apprentice becomes more entrenched in this dark world, the tasks escalate in both risk and moral depravity, culminating in the ultimate act of violence, taking a human life. The relationship between mentor and apprentice is complex and rife with psychological manipulation. The elder killer uses a mix of intimidation, praise, and the promise of belonging to maintain control over his young follower. To keep the protege loyal, he also manipulates the apprentice's perceptions, drawing him deeper into a twisted ideology that justifies their actions. The apprentice, seeking approval and direction, becomes increasingly dependent on his mentor, leading to a dangerous codependency. The murders themselves are described with a grim attention to detail, as Ramsland takes readers through the planning, execution, and aftermath of several killings. The crimes are not just the work of a single deranged mind, but a collaborative effort that signifies a new level of horror, a serial killer capable of reproducing his pathological behavior in another person. Law enforcement's pursuit of the killers unfolds as they start to connect the grim clues left behind. Investigators face the daunting task of piecing together disparate evidence, eyewitness testimonies, and psychological profiles to construct a coherent picture of the killer's identities and methods. This requires a careful and often frustrating process of forensic analysis, as well as an understanding of the killer's psychological makeup. Ramsland takes readers along with the detectives as they begin to draw connections between victims, notice patterns in the crimes, and close in on the pair. Breakthroughs in the case come at a cost, often after further loss of life or the discovery of new victims. These developments serve to heighten the urgency of the manhunt and the resolve of the law enforcement team to apprehend the offenders before they can kill again. As tension mounts, the narrative explores how the apprentice's increasing involvement in the crimes begins to sow seeds of paranoia and mistrust between him and his mentor. The once controlled environment becomes unstable, with the protege experiencing a growing awareness of his predicament and the irreversible nature of his actions. Clashes of ego, fear of capture, and the psychological toll of the murders begin to erode the previously unshakable bond between the two. Ramsland also uses the story to highlight the impact of the killer's actions on the victim's families 
and the broader community. The agony of not knowing what happened to loved residents, the dread of a killer at large, and the eventual reckoning with the brutal nature of the crimes all contribute to an atmosphere of grief and anger that permeates the book. The climax of the book arrives as the investigation intensifies, leading to a series of crucial missteps by the killers that provide the opening investigators need. A combination of forensic evidence, witness statements, and psychological insight leads law enforcement to the doorstep of the serial killer and his apprentice. The ensuing arrest and interrogation cast light on the full extent of the crimes and the perverse teacher-student dynamic that drove them. Ramsland takes readers through the judicial process as the killers are brought to trial and forced to face the consequences of their actions. The court proceedings reveal not only the harrowing details of the murders, but also the extent to which the apprentice was subjected to psychological manipulation. The trials become a public spectacle, with a community seeking justice and closure, while legal teams on both sides grapple with the complex issues of culpability, influence, and the capacity for reform. The book concludes with reflection on the aftermath of the trials, the sentences handed down, and the lingering questions about the nature of evil and the possibility of rehabilitation. Ramsland explores the psychological aftermath for both the mentor and his protege, delving into the long-term impact of their actions on themselves, their families, and everyone who came into contact with the case. In portraying this true story, Catherine Ramsland provides a disturbing look at the making of a serial killer through the lens of a nefarious apprenticeship, examining the darkest corners of human nature and the enduring struggle to understand and combat such profound malevolence. As a narrative, The Serial Killer's Apprentice is a sobering reminder of the potential for evil to be taught and learned, and the critical importance of early intervention in the lives of vulnerable individuals to prevent the emergence of new cycles of violence. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.